Have you ever been so sad that you eat your problems away? It's all in your head. But when it comes to your actual head, there are cells that do exactly the same thing. Eat the problems away. Enter microglia, small octopus-like glial cells in our central nervous system that perform phagocytosis, literally eating the problems like bacteria, viruses, or faulty neurons. Microglia are able to do this by sensing for warning signals from surrounding cells. During certain virus infections, cells send out emergency codes in the form of nucleotide ligands, the stuff DNA is made of, which microglia detect through purinergic receptors, specifically P2 receptors geared towards immune response. When the ligands meet these receptors, these octopus-like microglia shapeshift into their blob-like amoeboid form to surround the infected area to eat the neuron or its surrounding debris, then digest these through lysosomes, the microglia's stomach. In addition, they themselves release messenger chemicals called cytokines, like CCL2 or MCP1, to call for backup, which call out to monocytes They move to where the most cytokines are present as a trail to the infected spot. Isn't it cool to see that a microglia cell can somewhat talk to other cells? This communication is called cell signaling, and it's not just limited to microglia. It's a universal language spoken by all cells in our body, done through various methods like secreted chemicals, electric currents, physical contact, and receptor ligand interactions. Just like learning DNA allows us to understand how life and its components are formed, understanding cell signaling allows us to know how life works and how we remain alive. So the next time you feel like eating away your problems, remember the incredible microglia in your brain, the mental defenders that communicate through cell signaling. Who knows, maybe your problem can be solved too if you just initiate communication.